Hello everyone and welcome to uh, another Let's Play slash review. This time around I'm playing Beast of Bermuda and um, what I'm going to basically do is going to basically uh, play it on the Chrono uh, just to show you the underwater um, the underwater parts of the um, game just so you guys get a rough idea of what it looks like. Now on my computer and such that it does look a bit uh, naff because uh, my graphics card I had to turn the graphics down off um, because um, apparently it was lagging out the actual game and whoops I didn't mean to do that it was lagging out the actual game and it was causing issues so I had to tone down the graphics when I record and such so yeah I do 100% apologize if my graphics look somewhat choppy and such but yeah as you can tell I'm playing as a chrono and these are basically like the sharks of the water really I mean, you've got two types of attacks. You've got your normal snap, and then you've got your charge ability, which, when charged up, you can just basically just go, you know, swing off and that. But at the moment, it's a little bit murky in here because I think it's because um, either the weather's changing or it's night time or whatever. You, I think it's night time actually because the stars are out. And um, yeah, basically, um, I don't know if you get some air. There we go. But yeah, um, basically this game is, um, as you can tell, another survival based game that you can play as a dinosaur and such. And you get different varieties to choose from. You get your marine dinosaurs. You get three types of marine dinosaurs, one type of flyer, and you do get a lot of um, land dinosaurs to play as well. And yeah, this game is quite, again, you know, like I said about the other two games, is pretty legit, pretty awesome to play and such like that. Again, I recommend people to give this game a go and such. But um, for me, I actually enjoyed this game and such. And again, I do play it with my friends and so forth and so on. It's pretty fun to play with and such. I mean, I do love playing as the marine type um, dinosaurs because you get to explore more of the marine world. Plus, it reminds me of my um, of the old days when I played um, games like Echo the Dolphin and such like that. Especially... Um, Echo the Dolphin, the Defender of the Future and that. I mean, it gives me those kind of vibes back again, sort of thing. Um, so that's why I like playing with some marine types, because it reminds me of those. But I do tend to play as, like, the... Um, sometimes as the Rexes or whatever you... Depending, really. Eh? Um, but, yeah, the... One of the big differences in this game is you do have um, talent points here which is all here uh, you start off with five talent points and you can put them into wherever you feel comfy in that this side would lead to more of the power part where you get more stronger full spy and all that stuff depending what species you are this one's more the survival route and this one's more the stealth slash speedy route sort of thing um so it all depends what your what you feel that you're more best at what you feel you want to put your skill points in you can even mix and match if you want um I'm going to just go for pressure, comfort. Um, I know these are probably the wrong type of skills, and I know some people, I can even hear some people go, oh no, you shouldn't be adding into those skills and that, but I add them into that way because I'm more of a survivor than I am an attacker and such. And as you can tell, it's gone like a bluey colour on my screen. So that's a sign that you've gone more into the survivor route, where if you went into the speed slash stealth route, it would have gone green in the power route, red sort of thing. So, yeah. So, either way, you don't have to go by any route that people will tell you to. You can go by what you feel you're comfortable with. You can go with, uh, if you want to go with the mixture of, like, let's say if you want to put speed, aid, aid, slash stealth, elf, and you want to have power at the same time, you can go uh, to those routes and such. Um, as your dinosaur grows and such like that, it will grow, as it grows, you gain, or as you go on in the game, you gain talent points, basically. And every time when your dinosaur grows, you gain a, a talent point, I believe. And you can actually put those talent points into whatever you like. And the growth system of this game works quite different compared to um, the R, for example. With the R, you wait till you reach a uh, 1.0 and then you just click on grow to grow. But in this one, it automatically grows you uh, by the points that you already at sort of thing. Let's say, uh, like here's your growth, but like, because um, my growth is uh, 0.423, so I'm still young at the moment. But as that goes up and up, I will get bigger uh, and it will automatically grow me. And I just realised I'm a female. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, I used to get to look at a nice ass. But anyway, 
uh, <laughs> that was a joke there, by the way. But anyway, um, um, yeah. Uh, so basically, it just goes by a growth system that it, you don't have to click it to grow up. It just grows you up automatically, sort of thing, and such. And it is a nice little mechanic to have. Um, and basically, this game, um, um, the, the way the mechanics work in this game, was just like your any other survival game, really. I mean, you got to eat, you got to uh, get water, or in this one's case, instead of getting water, you got to get air. And you got different, um, you know, you've got different things to show for, um, you know, like you got different things to show for different things. I mean, you got different thing. Yeah, you got different icons that show for different things. There we go. Like you see, the red little meat section means your food. You got the bubbles for your air. Where if you're a land or or an air dinosaur, that would be transformed into water. Uh, if you're a herb before the meat section would be transformed into greens and such um the yellow claw is basically your stamina uh, as i will show you uh, by pushing shift and that usually brings down my stamina or maybe not oh wait it's starting to go down now it's just i've got a lot of stamina on me but yeah there as you can tell the yellow is um stamina the red around the yellow is also your ability the skeleton with the like the green thing that you see like the green color is basically your life and that's uh, up um and if that goes down then that means you're you're dead so you know what lot but however the green color of that also indicates your um comfort level and if that changes to let's say a red color that means you're feeling very uncomfortable and that's a chance of you getting stressed and you can easily lose life through that where if it was like a blue color then it's really good to be in green at the moment now is pretty much good i'm not so stressed as but i'm not too comfy either at the same time so i'm just right but if i'm in the blue then that's good to have because it helps with both my growth and survival rating and it usually gets more comfortable when you're in groups of people and such like that but um yeah i would definitely i would definitely i'll definitely say that the um, when they made this game and when they announced that that this game was coming i was absolutely intrigued by it because the fact is you can play as a marine dinosaur you can play as a flying dinosaur it just makes it all you know worthwhile worth playing and stuff like that and it's like you know to add more variety into it and the good thing is you don't have to wait for your dinosaur to die you can actually respawn anytime you want i'm going to just do it now and show you a different dinosaur um i'm going to go with you know i'll go with a flyer now I'm not sure if these are bugged still, but I'm gonna start off with a flyer again. There you go. There's my flyer. And I don't have to wait till I go out to fly. I can fly straight off the bat, push spacebar, and away I go. And oh yeah, as you notice my icon my meat icon has changed to instead of being a uh, meat icon, it's more of a fish icon, so um it actually sh a um oops it actually means that i can actually eat fish and such like that but although even though that the petrodons do require fish and other foods and such they can actually eat like things like meats and such like that so they're pretty much um good and they're pretty much one of many um fast dinosaurs on this game because naturally they can fly and i find these petrodons pretty good to play as as well and they are extremely fun to be you know to play as well especially when you're in a group of people and such again um in fact one of my friends uh, mr paul he um did um, a funny thing with i think it was with his petron kept them going up to everybody giving it hello every time and it just made people laugh and such it was quite funny with some of the stuff you kept on doing with it but i do love you know how they actually done on this game how they're giving you a variety in this game you know giving you a variety of being a marine and a flyer or even a ground um, dinosaur and how they actually done the actual game itself you know i feel that they've done it pretty well yes it's not as um detailed compared to the old and such but it's still again a legit d decent alk game and again like i said about the oil and the other game that i would recommend this one again I know that some people go, oh, is there not one that you don't recommend and such like that? But I'll be honest, I can't fl I can't actually say that I can't recommend these games because 
these guys I can because they are actually really good games. I can't I can't say that I can't you know, I just can't say that I can't recommend them because they are really good, like I said. And I actually get a lot of enjoyment from playing them, you know. And it's good to actually play these as well, especially if you want to just, you know, go off in your own little world, relax and such like that. And it, it is really quite nice to play us. Or play in, should I say. And yes, the flies can be difficult to... Oh, shit. As I said, the flies can be difficult to control at times. And as you notice, I did um, hurt myself there. But luckily, I didn't hurt myself too much. But when you hear that crack noise, that usually means I've hurt myself, basically. But I am alright, all right, so I'm not dead. But, um, yeah, it is quite fun to... Like I said, it is quite fun to play on this game. You can go to all these places and such. Um, in the daytime, it, it looks also just as good. You know, you have, for the daytime and nighttime cycles, you see the daytime, you know, fading to... You see, in the daytime cycle... I mean, ugh. when you've got the daytime and nighttime cycles... Um, basically switching over you see them fading into one another basically night becomes day day becomes night and all that stuff and at the moment i'm just playing it as you can see on the nighttime iron part but um when it's daytime you actually do actually see like the green fields hills as for what they are you actually see the, like, the desert like beaches at times and so forth and so on and um yeah i've really i've really um played the heck out of this game and it is it is one of many games that again that I can actually say I'd had a lot of joy from it and such and I love the sound effects that they used in this and so forth and so on I mean it's it, it's it's um it sounds really good it sounds awesome and such like that and yeah I'll say that the development team of this game and the developers in general and such have done a really good job on it again you know, I love the sounds that they, um, they use for the ambient sounds and such. I love the little trickery of the sounds that you think that's another creature there when it's just the ambient sounds. And it gives you that more of awareness sort of thing to be alert if, at all times, you know. Don't, you know, don't go and just stand still and be, um, you know, and just be meat to other players. You just literally got to just keep moving, keep going. Rest in safe areas and so forth and so on. But, um, yeah. And, um, so I'm just looking around at the moment, see if I can find anything. I'm not going to find anything in this time, but anyway, um, but yeah, uh, if you ever do see the game and such like that, and you want to pick it up or give it a shot, you know, go for it. You know, just really go for it because, like I said, it's really worth playing. You know, and I know I'm repeating myself here again because I'm because you probably heard this on the other video, and it's like, oh, for quite a lot of while, do you have to keep saying the same old drivel? Can't you just say something different? I know, I know, and I try not to repeat myself too much, and I apologise for that. But um, like I said, you know, if you do see this game. You know, give it a shot, you know. It's definitely worth it. And um, I know that it was definitely worth it when I picked it up. Uh, it's, it has um, been, again, such a joy to play, you know. Especially when you get especially when you get together with a band of friends and that. Or even if you want to solo play it, you know. Just, you know, playing it by yourself, it can be quite nice. It can even be relaxing as well. Especially when you had a stressful day and such and you just want to relax, chill out. It can be quite nice. But of course, I know everyone's different. Of course, everyone has their own different ways of chilling out and such. Some people do it with games. Some people do it with other things. In my case, if I wanted to chill out and such, I usually do it through even my writings and arts. But also, if I couldn't do my writings or arts, then I would just actually choose to go on a game or something like that. I mean, this would be one of those ones that I could easily chill out to and such. And so forth and so on. So I thought I'd think it was so bad there, but I just thought, wait, I'm going to be repeating myself again. Um, so far I haven't seen any other players. But anyway, I'm going to call the video out there. Hope you enjoyed... Uh oh, I think I'm going to crash. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, there was a way to... Wait a minute. How do you hover? There we go. It... <laughs> I remember that time. Hold E to hover. <laughs> but, um... 
yeah i hope you enjoyed this video people and if you want to see more videos want to see me play more games like these and such just let me know and i'll gladly you know do more videos on these but until next time people you all take it easy and peace out you're such a good boy